Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. And today's video is going to be a little bit of an update of some stuff going on, a little bit of update of some things that showed up, and, you know, just a hangout session real quick. So as far as things that are going on, um, I've almost got the Pajero body painted. I'm still dragging my feet on that. Um, I've got most of the body done on the um, squash fan. Um, I've got it painted. Uh, I've got it cleared. I need to do a bunch of detail stuff to it now. Um, I have the other body that I'm working on for a friend that's about in the same position. It's been painted, it's been decaled, it's been cleared, and looking to do some extra detailing on it. Um, so I'm working on those on the side as I get time. And then um, this weekend, the track had finally dried out enough. So I did get the radar out and run it around. Now, I did replace the motor before um, running it, and it ran well. Um, didn't run terribly great, but it ran well. And then I also took out the Plasma Edge 2 with the new Hobbywing brushless ESC in it, and man, was this thing ripping. So that budget ESC and motor combo, the ESC was a giant turd. Um, the motor seems great. Uh, I think it's a 3650 something KV, not sure, don't remember, um, somewhere around 3,600 KV. Um, it rips and dead silent. Um, you know, this thing almost sounds like it's belt driven out there. It's so quiet. Um, but you'll see those coming up soon. I got all the footage. I just need to go through it, edit it, clip it all together and all that stuff. So those will be coming up soon. So like I said, my birthday was last week and um, man, did I get lucky. So my wife had asked me if I had ordered anything for my birthday, and I said, no, not yet. She said, well, why not? And I'm like, well, because I don't know what I want. And she was like, well, order something. So I went on, I looked, and, you know, I still couldn't make up my mind. And a few days later, she asked again, and I told her the same thing. And she was like, oh, you need to order something. Okay. So I went ahead, jumped on A-Main, and populated about five or six tabs of kits that I wanted. And I said, here, surprise me. And I handed her my laptop and said, you put whatever you want to in the cart. And once you're done, I'll go and go through the checkout process. Might be a good suggestion for you guys to try one time. Uh, it worked out well for me. So I had to wait until today because my birthday was last week, but one of the packages didn't show up to today. First box I have opened just to make sure it wasn't damaged. There was a little bit of denting on the corner, but thankfully the way the boxes were in there, it was just dented on the empty corner. So the first thing we have is the Comical Hornet. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is basically on the WR2 chassis. Uh, so think the Wild Willies, um, the Farm King, stuff like that. Basically the same cha chassis, except this is the WROTCB for the Comical Buggy series. Um, so they have the Hornet, the Grasshopper, the Hotshot, and the Avante. Now the Avante and the Hotshot are both four-wheel drive. The Hornet and the Hopper are two-wheel drive. So, uh, oh, they also had the Frog too. Uh, that's also two wheel drive. So I, I want all of them, honestly, but you know, for some reason, the Hornet stood out to me as a cool one. I love the hopper. I love the, the um, frog, but something about this one just, you know, made me smile. And that's the one I put in my list and evidently it made my wife smile too. So she decided to go ahead and pick that one up. So this is a down the, all these are gonna be down the road projects. I've got a wall of stuff over there I need to get to first, um, but these are just, projects that will be coming up over the coming months. So this is the first one. So this second one, um, I wanted to get the chassis when it first came out, but I hated the body that was on it. And this one, I actually really like the body, and I'll tell you why. It looks like the Italian Herbie. <laughs> so no offense, Nani, but you know, this car, when I look at it, I see both Herbie and Italian. So, you know, it just, it had to be. Uh, I, I love the little body on it. Like I said, it has a, a very sports car look to it. So I think just that big 53 on the side just instantly reminds me of Herbie. Plus you have dual stripes down the center. So it's um, Italian Herbie. So this is on the MBO one chassis. Um, I really wanted to get that when it first came out. It's a new chassis and everything, but I just don't have any love for that Fiat. So waited, they put it, a, a different body on there and I stuck this to cart and evidently my wife adored uh, Italian Herbie as well so she got me that. So the next up is another chassis that I wanted to build but wasn't crazy about the body. So this is on the TCO one chassis which this has the lay down inboard shocks 
everything is low profile and I've heard a lot of great things about it. So this is the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR race car on the TCO1 chassis. So I'm excited to build this one as well, just because it's another unique chassis for me. I've not built it and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. And I'm not sure what, what inspired her to get this one other than, you know, it is a cool looking sports car. So that's box one. Let me bring up the last box. Now this one's a big one and I have not even opened this one up yet. Cause this one just came in today while I was at work. So I haven't had time to open it up. The glow blinder. I bit the bullet and got another um, semi truck. Well, I didn't. My wife did. <laughs> she just told me to buy it. So um, I had plans for this one. I actually want to get two of these. Um, and the reason I want to get two is they're going to be totally, completely different builds. Um, you know, normally I could get a separate body and make, you know, kind of two different trucks out of one truck, but. This build and the other build I want to do with the globe liners is going to be so different. And ugh. so the builds I want to do with the globe liners, they're going to be so different that they're really not going to be able to just swap bodies. Um, you know, it's going to be almost a complete tear down and rebuild to make two different ones. So eventually, eventually, I would like to get another one of these and do a separate build. But for now, I'm going with a very specific build for this. Um, I love the look of this truck. I love that old school cab over um, classic look. And I, I would love to do this in box art, but it's going to be maybe box art partial. Um, so I have some ideas. I want to do some different things with it. Um, I've got to get a bunch of parts. Um, I still need to get a whole sound control unit for this. I'm thinking about doing the bear uh, sound control unit for this one. Um, I have to get a trailer for this one because again, it's going to have a very specific uh, load for it. So I have to get a very specific trailer for it, which unfortunately they're kind of hard to find. So, you know, this one is a very far down the road project. Um, you know, I may get the chassis, may get the stuff built and, you know, wait for uh, some of the other pieces to come. I don't know. But for now, this one is probably going to be the furthest on the back burner. It just is here whenever I want to get started on it. Apologies for the interruption. I forgot to mention this when I actually recorded the first part of the video. So today is going to be the last day if you guys want to ask me a question and ask me anything video. So I'm going to link that video up here and down below in the description. If you guys have a question for me that you want answered in that upcoming video, which will be this Saturday, get it to me today. I'm going to cut off the questions uh, tomorrow morning when I get up. And that's going to be the end of it. So Thursday morning, when I get up, I'm basically going to put a comment at the top of the comments in that video and say, you know, the questions are closed. So if you guys do have a question, you can either hold on to it for probably a month or so from now. I'll do another one or ask it in the questions or ask it in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer it there. So I just want to jump back in here and remind you guys, if you have not asked a question and you wanted to head down to the link in the description to that video and ask your question there, you know, I'll like it, say thanks for the question. And then I'm going to answer it in that video coming up this Saturday. So again, I'm cutting it off Thursday morning. I'm going to get all the questions Thursday evening and Friday afternoon. I'm going to be answering them all, putting it all in the video, editing it, and then getting it out the door for Saturday morning's video. Back to today's video. Can't even get them all up on the bench. So again, all of these are going to be down the road kits. I don't plan on doing any of these right now. Um, the next one I plan on starting building is probably gonna be the Hilux 4x4. Um, two reasons, one, it's been here the longest. And two, I also have the um, sound box from GT Power, the sound and light controller 
<clears throat> for something like that that I can put into that without dealing with the little MFC for those. That's a ridiculous price. Um, so I have that and I can pair it with that truck. I think it would work out really cool. Um, I do have some restoration stuff that I want to work on um, throughout. So I've got the Ultima ST that I want to work on. Um, I've had that here for a while. That was donated to the channel. I think I have all the parts and the body and the stickers all ready to go for that. So I need to start working on that. Um, I also have two personal rebuilds I'd like to get to the super blackfoot um, to kind of recreate my original and I also have the Traxxas uh, sledgehammer that I would like to get refurbished because that was one of my originals as well um, so I would like to get those done but as far as builds go I have the Hilux to start on but of these four um, let me know down in the comments which of these four you would like to see built first now again let's not even include this one this one is gonna take I've got parts and trailers and all that stuff to get, and I wanna have all that here to start building this. Um, so let me say, of these three, of the um, Alfa Romeo, of the, the comical Hornet, or the Mercedes-Benz on the TC-01, which of those three would you like to see first out of this lot? Um, again, I think the next big build I do is gonna be the Hilux, but you know, who knows when one of these may catch my eye and I decide to jump in on that. Anyway, guys, um, you know, I can't tell you how much I love my wife. <laughs> uh, she, she's really good at spoiling me, and um, yeah, I don't know what I did to deserve all this, but thank you, honey. Anyway, guys, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Thadam. I'm Thadam. Two different channels mixing together. Iowa Budget RC Bashers and that's my channel.